so, even from the shackles of death, my old enemy pursues me. You're too late, Fortescue. Already my army has risen from the grave. You will never leave this necropolis. <laughs> Some obstructions can be smashed down with clubs and certain other weapons. Try experimenting. These boulders are going to crush your bones if you aren't careful. I hope you have a good shield equipped. Remember that each hit on your shield will chip away at its durability. Eh, better it than you, though. Great archaeological interest. Destroy the boulder and plunder the valuable treasures within. Club is a crude but effective weapon. Bash with it, burn with it, but beware, one bash too many, and it will break. Witches. A coven of the morty old hags lived here once, unholy fires burning all night while they brewed up unspeakable muck in their cauldrons. They moved on years back, but the smell still makes our eyes sting.
a guide to covens for witches and witchcraft enthusiasts. A witch's coven would reach the height of its power only when all of their sacred flames were alight. Witches have been known to offer help to the questing adventure, yet they are a reclusive people and have to be summoned by the aid of mystic charms or talismans. Let it be known that help from a witch is rarely given freely, and the witch will more often than not make a request of the adventurer before any such help is given. If seeking to summon a witch, remember that they are quite territorial. Any signs of previous witch activity in an area is a good indication that a witch can be called upon. The adventurer would be wise to be thorough in the exploration of an area. Hidden locations reap great rewards. <laughs> 